Hi, I'm Rick with EcoSteps Coatings. Thanks for joining me again today. Today I want to talk to you about toning a wood. Uh, and that's an undertone I'm talking about. Not shading, but an undertone. We'll talk about shading in another episode where you're actually adding color to the clear finish. But in toning, oftentimes when you're matching an existing piece or you're trying to get a lot of depth in it, you'll put an undertone on the wood. Or if you're working with a piece of walnut, for example, and uh, they want it to a color for whatever reason, you have beautiful walnut, you want to color it, so be it. Uh, you'll, you'll put a yellow or an orange toner on it first to try and give some depth to it. Or even working with, with standard stock, you put that toner on it first to give an added dimension to it. Toners usually are very quick drying. We have five standard colors in our Eco Coatings line. We have uh, a black, a uh, canary, grenadier, an orange and a couple of brown tones and that usually encompasses everything and you can intermix them. My favorite personally to use is the orange, the yellows and the orange. That gives a depth that just is not achieved regularly. So I got a chunk of birch here that we're going to tone up two different ways. Uh, we're going to tone it with a yellow on one side and one of the oaks, the browns on the other and then leave the center open for the color itself. So you see the dramatic differences between it. So these toners dry real fast. That, by design, they're meant to be sprayed on. You can hand apply them. Uh, you can even add some of the retarder to it if you want to really slow the thing down. But I've got kind of a seam right here, so I'm gonna do a little bit wider path on it. To, to, so that's not gonna play into anyone's mind. So again, I like to spray these on. It's not necessary, but just a personal preference to it. You can see that's a real deep, yellow color. I did add a dot of red to this just because I like it. Just that and now the brown one. Use by that one. And the color I'm going over the top with is a brown color so you'll see what this will do. A lot of times if you're using a dark brown color you'll use a black toner underneath it and that gives it a new dimension. Sometimes the yellow. It really depends on what you're trying to go for. Each tone will give you a different look to it. Again, the toners dry nice and fast. I'm going to let these guys dry up for about 10 minutes or so. I'll be right back with you. Okay, I've let these dry up fairly well here. Uh, one other thing I might add about toners, when they're used properly and sprayed on, they'll actually almost work like a wood conditioner in that they'll, they'll control the depth of the stain to a slight bit. So some of the blotching that could occur on certain species, if you use a toner first, it won't happen as, as prevalent. Still not as good as a conditioner, but it does definitely make a big difference on it. Okay, so you can see we've got these two colors here. I'm gonna go solid in the middle here. Got this board just to kind of back us up so I can alienate the two so you see the difference on it. I've got just kind of a dark brown penetrating stain here. This is the liquid stain. Normally I would spray this on. Again, I never try to be frugal when it comes to staining. That always gets you in trouble. Mop it on heavy, and then that gives you plenty of time to come back and wipe off the excess and do what you need to do. I'm going to bring this towards the camera so you can see the difference. Because it's not as prevalent with the brown tone, but it really is with that yellow golden tone. So, let me bring that up towards the camera for you. So you can see this little strip along here, there was nothing on. Strip in the middle, straight stain. This is the dark toner, this is the yellow toner. You can see it all looks brown. Get the full view of it here. It all looks brown as a whole. But here you see, whoops, <laughs> here you see how that golden undertone comes through. Here you see how a darker, slightly redder undertone comes through. I know it's difficult to see with the camera, especially on that redder one, but try and wiggle some angles there. Maybe you can pick it up. Right about there you can see there's kind of a divergent line right there between the two. A little bit more of a reddish tone under here. That is a toner. You can imagine certain, certain jobs will indicate that you may have to stack 
this, and then put a red toner on top of this, and then another stain. You can build multi, multi-dimensional layers on here that just give a completely unique look to the entire situation. So that is it real quickly. The toner is available in five standard colors and you can literally change the appearance of the species of wood you're using to make it match something exist existing or give a whole new look. That is it. I'm Rick with Ecosex Codings. Thanks for joining us.